in Nigeria, anything goes. And if you become an activist trying to expose people for who they are, then your life can easily be in, you know, danger. I don't even have a home again because I've, I have abandoned my old place because my current address have been compromised. As you can see, I'm in a hotel. So yesterday, while waiting for a friend, um, I was just scrolling through Facebook, you know, I had to, my friend said, okay, you go drop me before you go to your house. So I was scrolling through Facebook and then I saw a cease and desist letter that was addressed to me by one prime chambers on a blog, on one worry blog. So when I opened it, before I could read through um, the content of the letter, I saw that my current address was boldly put up on the letter. Do you understand? Now, what is crazy is this, this letter I'm talking about, they didn't send it to me directly, which they were supposed to do. They didn't send it to my lawyer. They didn't send it to my mail. Instead, it was posted on a blog. Do you understand? Which carries my... Hello, welcome to my channel. I know your guy. And it's almost like the bio of Koji. If you are new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button if you enjoy watching this video. And please remember to like, share and comment. Very Dark Man has come out to allege that Mr. Jolof and his wife, you know, published his address, his physical address on the internet. And this, he said, has endangered his life. And as a result of that, he has since left his home to be staying in a hotel. This is very, very bad because we all know that trying to send some somebody a letter, you know, the person could have been contacted directly through his email phone number or through his lawyers, but decided to put it on the internet. And he has alleged that the purpose of doing that is to make um, his life be at risk. And um, it's not a good thing. And um, he has come out to condemn them. And I also condemn it. So Mr. Jolof should have done better, you know, especially in this time and age where very dark man is calling out everybody. And if you even check the video very well of the the video he made where he called out Bob Risky, which I'm, I'll be doing a video on that. He called out Bob Risky and um, that Bob Risky was, you know, never really saved his um, or had killed them, depending on how you see Bob Risky, if you are seeing him as a man or as a woman. And that Bob Risky, you know, bribed the EFCC with 15 million naira for them to drop the case of money laundry. Because in the audio recording, he said it. Okay, let me just, just continue since I'm already on it. So Bobrisky was heard on the audio saying that he bribed EFCC with 15 million naira for them to drop the money laundry case. Even though he told them that he had Facebook and he had over 5 million followers and he's getting enough money there. But they still told him that money was not enough for him to actually build the kind of house he was living in and the kind of opulent lifestyle he or she had and as a result of that she had to bribe and then in the process very dark man called out you know um mr Faust and his um, father um barrister falana because in the audio could hear bobriski saying that uh Faust and his father had a little had a role to play that Faust contacted him or her and okay let me just be saying him i won't condone that um thing he calls himself so that first contact contacted him and then said he could talk to his father for his father because his father had some connections and they could grant him immunity or state pardon and the state pardon would mean that he won't serve his full time so long as he has turned the new leaf and that doesn't that didn't sit well with people but in my own opinion i do not really say anything wrong in that the fact that what crime did what crime did he commit now efcc did not charge him with money laundry so let's remove that now what was he charged with spraying naira spraying naira to me, it's not a criminal offense. It's just a misdemeanor, um, um, and I see it as a civil matter. And if anybody's in jail for that, especially with what people have been doing in this country, then anybody can come to the person's rescue. So, for instance, that if I were, if I had the connection of power, just on the basis of that, I could come and say, okay, this man, come on, not only you don't do this kind of thing before, other people don't do it well, but somehow, somehow, through some technicalities, if you if you come out to you for you, that does not mean that I'm supporting um, um, him. Uh, uh, doing his other nefarious things. The fact that he has been suspected to be man with the knack man, you know, it's none of my business per se. Um, but when Red Dark Man now began to say, oh, maybe Faust was actually um, doing, having something to do with him because Faust has never, uh, Faust probably, I mean, Faust is not married. And Faust had this song where he said something like, where he said something like um, that people should leave the LGBT people or the, I think, I don't want to call that name, you know, that's who in their hair, you know, because of YouTube restriction, you know, that people should leave them alone, that there were other things, and then because Faust is not a man, people are now beginning to think, that, oh, could it be that Faust has something 
to do with this kind of people? I don't really think so. But now, if you check the video, the video was also made in the same hotel room where he made the same video that Mr. John Love and his wife, you know, I'm going to post, I'm going to um, display the uh, the letter that they served him, you know, where he's supposed to probably, um, they are suing him, of course, they are suing him. Um, there is a long-standing feud between he, he and uh, Mr. Jolov. And you know the funny thing, between him and Mr. Jolov, rather. You know, but the funny thing is that very dark man is always having issues with people. He has had with um, Prophet Jeremiah. Yeah, or let me just say Jeremiah because I don't believe in the so-called prophecy. This person just needs to make money from unsuspecting Nigerians. There are some of these so-called pastors are worse than Nigerian politicians, you know. And he has had a lot of cases with people. And in that particular video where he called out um, Bobriski, he also called out Faust, he called out Falana. He called out EFCC, he called out uh, Controller General of um, Nigerian Prisons because they were the ones who were allowed, who gave him room and apartment opposite his uh, prison to stay. And even uh, Kemi Oluyono, you know, thanks to her journalism or her brand of journalism, once said that Bobriski was actually staying not inside the prison but inside an apartment. So now, very dark one has come to throw more light on it. And the funny thing is that it was an audio. So, how did he get the audio? Who could have betrayed? Bobrisky, because Bobrisky said that he, he didn't know if who was trying to set him up and all of that. But the truth is that Bobrisky was talking too much. Bobrisky, you too talk, too, 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 and, and everything. How somebody take give you eight million? How they take give you one million? You don't call everybody names. Say that just implicate everybody. You don't implicate. So even now you are a threat in terms of doing business with you, in terms of doing shady business with you, because people now know that oh, Bobrisky, more they talk. You know, you should have known that anybody could have recorded you. So things like that, you can just do either view one's audio or when you are with people, you talk to them. Or you can't even do WhatsApp call because they could be using another device to record it. And even your viewers, they could use another device to record it. And for instance, if I see, if for instance, I want to make a sensational uh, news and Bobrisky sends me a viewers audio, trust me, before I open that audio, I would have gotten another recording device to be beside it just to listen in case what it is can be something that is incriminatory and um, incriminating and that I could um, post. So that is it. Let me know your thoughts are with respect to Mr. Jolov going that far and so petty. And to me, being that malicious and vile to post somebody's address on the internet in the name of posting the cuts uh the the the, the i don't know if i'll call it now the, the is it the court letter now or the letter for um the letter that where they are suing him you know in that particular letter you know the address will be there to serve him a letter and the address was there and they published it online why not do it why do why would you is, is it has it become a social media circus whereby if he's a social media personality does that mean that you should also take his whatever would endanger his own life to be put on the social media. I think that is very, very wrong. And I think Very Dark Man can sue them. Very Dark Man looked very sober in that particular video. I hope he's able to sue them and deal with them. And then also, um, let me know what you think about um, Bob Ruski's case. I think um, Bob Ruski is wrong for so many things, but I don't think Faust and Barista Falana were wrong for trying to show him that there were some technicalities in this legal system whereby he could actually get bail before six months on the ground of pardon because he had he didn't really commit any criminal offense you know all he did was to spray naira which um even the chibana, chibana chief priest was guilty of and he pleaded not guilty but this guy wasn't smart enough to have pleaded guilty so let me know let me know your thoughts in the comment section and please remember to subscribe and like this video and share until we meet again i remain your boy ernest the music by the boy signing out peace